Okay. How'd you do? 65,900 newtons is the answer to A. Same. And 56,200 newtons is the additional, additional weight. Okay. So, let me explain. The buoyant force of the of the gas, of the balloon, is going to be the density of the gas times G times the volume of the gas. Now, you're not including, obviously, the material that it's made of, etc. Okay? You're simply, that's the, that's actually the fluid displacement. That's the displacement that's the displaced volume. When you say volume, you mean displaced volume. Okay? I have a boat, and it displaces the volume. That's the volume you're talking about. Okay? So, that's the density of air, because you're displacing air. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. You're displacing air. How much air are you displacing? That is the volume of air displacing. So that's the volume of the air, that's the density of the air, that's the buoyant force of the air. Understood? Okay. 65,900 newtons. Now, what's the relationship between the buoyant force and the weight? They're the same. If something's floating, the buoyant force and the weight are the same. If I know the buoyant force of a battleship, I know the weight of the battleship. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Are you ready? A third of the chapter. You ready? You ready? The weight of a ship, a floating ship, the weight of a floating ship is equal to the weight of the volume of fluid it displaces. The weight of a ship that floats is the weight of the volume of water it displaces. That's the definition of buoyant force. The buoyant force equals the weight of the volume of fluid it displaces. The buoyant force equals the weight of the volume of fluid it displaces. Now, it's all, because the helium is out also floating, correct? Mm -hmm. The buoyant force equals the weight, mm -hmm. correct? So the weight of the helium is 9,700. Same as the buoyant force, because it's floating, right? Mm -hmm. Correct? What's the volume of the, of the helium? 5,450 newtons, uh, sorry. Uh, cubic meters, correct? Mm -hmm. That's the volume of the helium. That's the density of the helium. That's the G of the helium. That's the buoyant force of the helium. It's floating. That's the weight of the helium. So the weight of the balloon, because it's floating, minus the weight of the helium is the weight that you have left over. So that's going to be the weight of the accoutrement, of the, the bag, of the blimp, of the gondola, of everything. Clear? Mm -hmm. Have a great day.